I love books. I love them a lot. I'm addicted to books. <laughs> I really care about books and I think it's important to support books. Any place that there's a room full of books is a place I probably want to be. I think one of the really important things about fairs like this is bringing together all of these dealers in one spot. The book fair is great because it allows you to interact uh, personally with people who might already be your clients but you never actually meet or see because you're dealing across the country or across the world. It also allows you to meet uh, new potential clients and to introduce to people to books that they've never seen before. And for me being a Western dealer from Salt Lake City coming to a place like Boston where there's an enormous variety of regional, eastern, and international dealers that I would never ever get to see otherwise. It's a real godsend for me. People always ask me, what's the book fair? What's it all about? And I think people have this impression that it's a bunch of guys with bow ties that are very scholarly, that are looking at old books and not a lot of color. And to me, this place is just full of life, and it's a lot more than books. It's books, relics, history, popular culture, you name it, it's here. Just come for the history, like it's just just a once a year event here, it's just very cool. Boston has a fairly appreciative crowd, I mean it's educated, I mean they, they, they kind of, they like their books. I mean it's, it is a kind of book town, and actually compared to some other shows you can go to, actually you find it's a very appreciative crowd. I think you can, you can read text online, but a book is like a person, it has a history to it. You know, it's in whose hands, it's, it's like art, but it's, it has a story and it has so many layers. You know, if you go to a special collections department of a library, a rare books library, or a museum, which will t tend to have books of this uh, level, uh, you don't get to touch them or to look at them or to, you know, talk to people who know a lot about them. To be able to hold something that George Washington held. I mean, it's still sudden to chill up your spine. If you come into our booth, you'll see something like this, which is a 15th century book made in 1495. And this is the first ever printed edition of Aristotle in Greek. It's one of the great monuments of typography and Renaissance scholarship, but you can actually touch it and you could turn the pages. And they still have their rattle, is what we call it. The sort of fresh, uh, snappy feeling that you can feel in the book. And you're almost transported back to 1495 yourself. I like that they have um, pictures and maps as well and other things like that. And I just like looking at all the old covers and everything. I really think it's just the discovery. You know, you're constantly finding new things. Um, and it's sort of the way that things relate and the history that you can uncover um, through looking at different texts and, and, and books is just really fascinating. I mean, you can just come to an event like this and leave with you know, a head full of knowledge you didn't have before. It's the passion, it's the history, it's the obsession of it all. You know, for collectors and dealers in the trade, it's seeing or handling something that you've never seen or imagined before. And that's the real beauty and the serendipity of it all.